Steelers, they did go 9-7-1 last season. They did make the playoffs, the first-round loss to the Kansas City Chiefs. Big Ben has retired. They pick up Mitchell, Tur- Mitchell Trubisky in the offseason in free agency. Uh, Wyatt, they drafted a quarterback and some other key pieces on that uh, team. But how do you rate the Pittsburgh Steelers draft? Well, starting off here, excuse me. <clears throat> starting off, I, I, I had to take a couple of looks at this draft. This draft was, was pretty interesting to me. I think I was really on the fence of I couldn't decide if the Steelers did a really good job or a really bad job. And the conclusion that I came to was I think they did a really good job. I do. Going forward in the future, Kenny Pickett, he played at Pittsburgh. It's the Pittsburgh Steelers. If there's a guy there at 20 who is a good first round capable guy, a you know, leader at the quarterback position, he's got the big arm, you know, while the hand size may be smaller, he's a good quarterback overall. He was a Heisman candidate. He threw for a lot of yards, threw for a lot of touchdowns. So with that 20th overall pick at Kenny Pickett, I like that. I I did overall like that that pick. Um do I think Malik Willis would have better fit their, you know, not not system? Do I think that Malik Willis is a better quarterback than Kenny Pickett and is going to have a more successful career? Um, now that he fell to the Titans, maybe not. But if he would have went to the Steelers, I do think he would have he would have been better. But Pittsburgh went with Kenny Pickett, which I do understand. Like I said, it's the Pittsburgh guy; you kind of have to go with him. So overall, I liked their first round selection. The second round and on is really where it gets interesting, though. So round two, pick 52, they get George Pickens, who is a menace to society. I mean, he is, he is a, and I cannot explain this to you enough, perfect, perfect Steelers wide receiver. Absolutely perfect Steelers wide receiver. Because look back at Steelers wide receivers. There's always something with them. You know, you have Antonio Brown, who is just extra, always, you know, always doing, you know, he's the Kanye of the NFL pretty much. Yep. If, if I had to compare him to something. You had Juju Smith-Schuster, who's always on TikTok, all that stuff, you know, drawing the attention. You know, and you look at Chase Claypool, who's drawing the attention for some of the plays that he made last year with, like, when he's celebrating and they have 10 seconds till the clock's going to run out. And it's like, why are you, what are you doing? So it's just like... It was a it was a textbook pick. I was so con- I was I was sitting there and I was so confused. I was like, and why'd they take Pickens there? But when I thought about it, it makes so much sense. George Pickens, if you watch his tape, George Pickens genuinely does love playing football, but more than that, he loves starting SH. Like you know, he he, he loves starting you know what more yep. than he loves playing football. I mean, if you look at the clip, I don't know who they were playing, I think it's Georgia Tech. He grabs that wide receiver by the or the cornerback by the face mask and like runs him over to the wall and just bashes his fa- him face first yep. into the wall. He was blocking so, I mean, to the whistle. I guess he's a yeah, he's a perfect he's a perfect pick for the uh for the for the Pittsburgh Steelers. I mean, he he fits the bill incredibly. They've always got the extra over the top wide receivers, so perfect pick. In my opinion, uh, Leo Devensven out of Texas A&M, third rounder, a really solid pick. I think he adds to that already stacked, already stacked defense. That defense is getting too good now because they just added Miles Jack this offseason. They've already got TJ Watt, Minka Fitzpatrick, Cameron Hayward. Uh, I mean, there's guys everywhere on this defense. This defense is getting way too good now. Like it's it's genuinely getting unfair. So. The addition of Lille, I really like that for the for the Pittsburgh Steelers. I think they did a good job for rounds one through three. Also in round four, Calvin Austin, you get another wide receiver out of Memphis. This wide receiver uh, group for Pittsburgh has kind of been depleted a little bit, and uh, they they needed to add some guys. So getting getting to throw Calvin Austin there in the mix as a fourth rounder, I like that pick. Uh, their sixth rounder is is in my opinion one of the most underrated picks in the draft. Connor Hayward, he's brother of Cameron Hayward. So first off, you already get the connection. You already get the chemistry. You already get all that coming with it. It's wrapped up with a nice bow. Connor Hayward can play tight end. Connor Hayward can play fullback. Connor Hayward can be an edge blocker for you. He can go out and catch passes. He can run the ball. He can block. I mean, he is a universal Swiss Army knife for an offense, and I'm a big fan of the way this guy plays football. 
He's a great addition to this team out of Michigan State. And like I said, he's already got that chemistry. His older brother literally plays for them. So even up to the sixth round, I think they did a good job. Mark Robinson, linebacker out of Mississippi, another solid depth addition here to this defense. Uh, they love doing this. They just love adding depth. Yep. And then the round seven pick of uh, Chris Oladukin out of uh, South Dakota State. I think that pick is more because of the passing of Dwayne Haskins. So because Dwayne Haskins passed away, they lost somebody in the quarterback room. So you need to, you know, obviously you have to fill that spot still. So with them already bringing in Mitch, I mean, at this point, before the draft, all they had was Mitch and they had uh, uh, Mason, Mason Rudolph. Rudolph. And I don't think, is Dobbs, is Dobbs still there? Is Josh Dobbs still uh, there? Dobbs is, is, is still there. He is listed right now as a third uh, quarterback on the uh, depth chart. So, Okay, well, I mean, they've always really liked having a lot of quarterbacks. So, yep. you know, when when uh, <clears throat> when Haskins passed away, I, I kind of expected them to – Obviously, they were drafting a first-round quarterback, right. but I kind of expected them to to go ahead and and get another quarterback at some point in the draft, just just to fill the quarterback room. Because once again, it's always better to have something when you when you need it rather than to need it and not have it. So, exactly. you know, for them to for them to go and and fill that spot, I I, I don't want to say fill that spot because you're not going to fill that spot, but uh, but for them to you know add to the roster where you know they had a tragic ending to the tragic um loss of the roster i think was a was a good pick for them so overall i was i was pretty impressed with the steelers draft i really was i think this is like i said one of the most underrated drafts for uh for anybody in the league this year a lot of people really aren't talking about how good they did with this draft so with that being said I'm 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 right on the fence still. I I I I'm on the fence. I can't decide if I want to go B plus or if I want to go A minus because there's a part of me that really wants to go A minus because I think that they did an A minus job. But there's a part of me that's like every one of these picks could not work out. Like all of these picks are home runner strikeout guys. Exactly. Yeah. So it's like that's a good point. I didn't think about that. Yeah, that's a great. Point. Kenny Pickett is a home run strikeout guy. George Pickens, home run strikeout guy. Uh, DeMarvin Leal, he, I think he's going to be, I think he's going to be good. I think he'll stay around for a while. Uh, Calvin Austin, another uh, Connor Hayward. I, I think Connor Hayward stays around for a little bit, um, but just pretty much there's a lot of just hit or miss guys. So at the moment, I'll give him an A minus. We'll adjust as time goes on, but for the, for the, for the moment and for the time being, Pittsburgh Steelers, in my book, get an A minus, and their best pick is Kenny Pickett. Yeah. Oh well. First round. Uh,